G'day, I'm Todd Woodard. This is our wool shed here in Narracourt, South Australia. Our farm's five and a half thousand acres. We have roughly 4,000 sheep that we put through this shed here. This is a pretty typical wool shed. It's what we call a, a raised board with three shearers operating at once. All the sheep are in the back of the shed. They get dragged out to the front here, processed, and then returned underneath the shed by the chute. This shed's probably as modern and as good a design as you'll find in the world. This is where the sheep come up. They come up through the back of the shed, flow through the shed, and, and this is called a, a catching pen. This is where the shearer catches the sheep to take them out to shear. The sheep we're shearing at the moment are crossbred between a Merino and a Border Leicester. You have to be in love with your sheep to work with them. Uh, they're not the brightest animals. This is what we call the count out pens. So each pen is given to a shearer. Each shearer puts their sheep down through that chute that we saw inside the shed. They come out here. We can then count the sheep and you know allocate it to the shearer because the shearers get paid you know per sheep that they shear. I have three working dogs. Bring them up. Good dog. Good dog. Stay. Stay there. Stay. Yeah, here, hop up, hop up, go right back, go right back, go right back, bring him up. Now Rouse is bringing him up towards us, towards where the shearers are, so he's just helping us in that process. Ah, uh, steady, steady, steady. Here, Ralph, here. Here, Ralph. That's the dog. That'll do, that'll do. That'll do. Come here, sit down, good dog. Good dog, Ralphie. Dave's coming in, he's just gonna grab one now. So he'll twist the head to the side, they'll just drop onto their back. Minimal fuss, minimal stress to the sheep and the shearer. These sheep weigh 60 kilos, so you know, they're like a small grown man, basically. The first operation is to take the belly wool off. Dave's been shearing 11 years to get to this stage of skill level that he is at the moment. So one and a half minutes to shear a sheep, depending on what sort of sheep they are, how big, well, what breed they are, it's a very skilled operation. Now you can lose a lot of money if it's not shorn properly, because we get paid on length or wool. And this is what we call the long blow. So this is Dave taking the big long blows of wool from off the sheep's back, take the wool from around the head and the jaw, and he'll come down the neck on the last side of the sheep now, and there'll be nice deliberate blows to finish it off. These sheep at the moment are giving us about four and a half kilos of wool. Dave will shear about 200 of these in an eight hour day. And down he goes. <laughs> You're a natural, Dave. The camera loves you. Oh. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> when the wool is harvested from the sheep, you know, we can sort it on the table here. It allows for the small pieces to fall through and they'll be kept separate into another bale. And this main fleece, which is about 100 millimetres long, will then go into the press and be pressed into uh, 200 kilo bales. At the moment, we have the, the belly wool going in, in here as a separate line. So that's the wool that's come straight off the belly, which is shorter, it's only about 50 mil long. Belly wool is more used for producing a lower grade of carpet. So Nick just put some wool in there, he's just compacting it and that way we can handle large amounts of wool, which is quite a bulky thing, but we can press it down into small amounts, which saves on our handling and transport costs. The wool's now in the bale, it'll go to Melbourne be auctioned. So you've just seen the whole wool harvesting process done here in an iconic Australian wool shed.